Our sixth presenter is Susie Lee, whose title is Adopting Smart Neighbourhood Services is Critical to Climate Change, Human Health and Social Equity. Did you know we're losing our green land to more and more pavement every year? On average, almost 70% of our cities are paved now. As a result, increasingly cities are facing extreme urban heat and flooding problems. With around 1,300 heat-related deaths in the US every year, and over 4.3 million losses for homes due to flooding damage. Now, it might say getting more paved surface like streets and sidewalks is inevitable for urban growth. But are there smarter choices for urban development? Luckily, there are. If people start to pay more attention to these surface reflectivity and permeability. Reflectivity is largely related to the color of the surface. Low reflectivity causes more solar heat to be absorbed, leads to an increase in surface and air temperature, which results in an increase in surrounding building air conditioning load powered by the polluting power plants which is a major contribution to climate change. And this increase in temperature is consistent with the lack of tree coverage in those red line neighborhoods as shown on the map, indicating social inequity. On the other hand, low permeability leads to an increase in stormwater runoff causes water contamination and human health issues. So by choosing a smarter surface choice, those errors on the top can be flipped into reductions. But current data on city surface performance is not easily accessible or comparable. Most research have been focusing on either one type of the surface or one aspect of this issue, heat or water. But they should be considered both simultaneously. So to fill this gap, I've developed a smart surface taxonomy with performance indicators in surface temperature, rainwater retention, and carbon reduction. There are 50 types of surface in the smart surface taxonomy covers three categories roofs, streets and sidewalks, and parking lots, ranging from traditional black impervious to light colored or green surface with various levels of permeability. So let's take a look at the roof category. The green roof on this bar chart is 80 degrees cooler than the conventional black roof on a hot summer day. And like I said before, this difference in temperature is showing a strong correlation with the lack of tree coverage in the communities of color. So there are smarter ways for the cities to grow and become more equitable. The question is, why are the policymakers still acting so slow on adopting these strategies? That's because most decisions are made economically driven instead of sustainability. So in this research, a decision-making dashboard will be developed to help them to evaluate some other potential benefits like health benefits or flooding cost reduction so that more informed decisions on city surface choices can be made to help mitigate climate change and improve human health and social equity. Thank you.